I was talking to one of our Author Accelerator certified book coaches the other day. She was in the hot seat and we were talking about her marketing and looking at her assets, the things that she has to offer people. And that those assets included everything from she loves public speaking and she's done a lot of it and that put, goes in the asset column because that's a thing that she likes. And then I was asking her if she'd done much video, much online video, and she hadn't. She was an older woman and social media was kind of uh, nervous making for her. And she had, she has accounts and uh, on Facebook and Instagram, but she isn't consistent with them and certainly hadn't done any video on them. So I was asking her if she loves public speaking, would she consider doing some video outreach to her potential clients because she has a really specific clientele. She's She's gotten zeroed in on her zone of genius. She's ready to serve that those kinds of writers. And it seemed like a really good fit. And her answer was interesting because she said, um, online video stresses me out. And, and I would love to do it. I think I'd be good at it. I think it would work well for my for the writers I want to serve, but um, it stresses me out. And I asked her why. And she said, because she's a perfectionist, she feels like she has to get her hair and her makeup and her clothes and everything right. And I laughed because I totally get that. I totally am the same way. And I have found ways around it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, video and being a perfectionist. So you can probably tell if you've been listening to my YouTube videos that I am not being a perfectionist about them. I'm, I'm trying to just make them spontaneous. And when I have an idea that I think is useful or interesting, just to jump on and record it and, and not um, fuss so much about it. And that has helped me break out of that perfectionist tendency. But that being said, um, you may have noticed that I often have orchids in the background that's something I just have in my workspace and something that I love and something that um, brings me joy. So I do that regardless of whether I'm doing video. Although when I am doing a video, I'll check to make sure there's no like dead um, flowers <laughs> dropping all over the place, which with orchids does happen from time to time. And then um, I usually don't worry so much about what I'm wearing because there's not very much of it shows. Um, but there are, I do have a pile of sort of zoom tops. This is not one of them. <laughs> um, but I do have a pile of ones that I think look good. They have a nice neckline or they're a nice color, um, or I just like them. So I'll, those will be my go, go to tops. And, um, I usually like to wear interesting earrings when I'm doing a video. Um, but the big thing for sure is, is the hair and the makeup. If I don't, do something with my hair it's frizzy and it's big and disordered and it makes me um, nervous in my real life I'm like that all the time but for some reason I don't like it on camera and so I I've come up with a way around this which is when I have to do my hair for something else <laughs> that's when I'll do video like I piggyback on the times when I have to do my hair or if I get my hair done by the ha hairdresser I'll book time to do video after that. Um, if I know I'm going to go out at night, I'll, I'll do my hair and then um, do video earlier in the day. And, um, or I'll batch things together. Like if I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to do the video. So that's, that's something that um, has really worked for me. Um, and then I have a makeup routine that's just my regular routine. Well, on a, on most days I don't wear any makeup at all. What I'm, what I'm wearing right now is just a simple routine that I've come up with that um, just the, the um, products that I like that work for me that are easy. I can do it in about three to four minutes. Um, I mean, I'm not a pro. I'm not going for a model look, but it just, I think it evens out my skin. It makes me feel better. Um, I do some eyebrow and eye stuff. Um, so it, you know, that makes me feel a little bit more polished. But um, so the point is that I found a couple of routines that work for me that make me feel good about shooting video and able to shoot video. I've also come up with a routine where I hone in on the point that I want to make. And then I don't worry. I don't write a script. I, it's not 
what I'm doing here and when I do Instagram lives or live coaching or anything like that. It's not supposed to be scripted. It's not a lesson that I've, that I've slugged out. It's just, I'm speaking to my potential clients and people who are interested in the topics that I talk about. So, um, I, I hone in on the topic, but I don't worry much more about that. I also have a sense of how long I want it to be. So those things, the, um, batching the work, uh, piggybacking on when I do my hair, um, coming up with a simple makeup routine, coming up with a few tops that I like that work on Zoom, and um, knowing that if I have my point slugged out that I don't need to script it, I can just speak to that point and, and make it and that that is effective. Those things have really helped me to become more comfortable with video. Um, and I spoke through those things with this coach and I think she's going to try to do some of the same things and, and jump in and do it too. All the experts say, and I agree, that uh, perfect is the enemy of good in, in all these outreach things. You've got to just do stuff. You've got to just start. You've got to, you can't wait until things are perfect, conditions are perfect, because they're never going to be. If I waited till my hair was perfect, I would never, I would never do this. So, you know, just the, the simple routines that can help will allow you to then do the thing that doing video is really about, which is serving people, talking to people, helping people, connecting with them, being generous, being authentic. Those are all the things that we can all do. So those are just some tips that I have for shooting videos.